Paddling Kids. Rosie Revere, Engineer by Andrea Beattie. This is the story of Rosie Revere, who dreamed of becoming a great engineer. In Lila Greer's classroom at Blue River Creek, young Rosie sat shyly, not daring to speak. Alone in her attic, the moon high above, dear Rosie made gadgets and gizmos she loved. And when she grew sleepy, she hid her machines far under the bed where they'd never be seen. And that's how it went until one autumn day, her oldest relation showed up for a stay. Her great-great Aunt Rose was a true dynamo who'd worked building airplanes a long time ago. She told Rosie tales of the things she had done and goals she had checked off her list one by one. That night, as Rosie lay wide-eyed in bed, a daring idea crept into her head. Could she build a gizmo to help her aunt fly? She looked at the cheese hat and said, No, not I. But questions are tricky and some hold on tight. And this one kept Rosie awake through the night. So when dawn approached and red streaks lit the sky, young Rosie knew just how to make her aunt fly. She worked and she worked till the day was half gone, then hauled her cheese copter out onto the lawn to give her invention a test just to see the ridiculous flop it might turn out to be. Strapped into the cockpit, she flipped on the switch. The Hello Cheese Copter sputtered and twitched. It floated a moment and whirled round and round, then froze for a heartbeat and crashed to the ground. Your brilliant first flop was a raging success. Come on, let's get busy and on to the next. She handed a notebook to Rosie Revere, who smiled at her aunt as it all became clear. Life might have its failures, but this was not it. The only true failure can come if you quit. Craft time. Let's build a paper airplane for great, great Aunt Rose. Of course it will fly better if we decorate it with cheese spray. Flip over your paper, fold lengthwise like a hot dog bun. Fold the top corners to the crease. Fold to the crease again. Fold your plane in half. Let's make the wings by folding the paper out. Flip it over and do it again. Great, great Aunt Rose's plane turned out great. It even flew for 12 feet. Follow the links below for more paper airplane designs. Let me know how far yours fly. For the full story, please purchase this book or check it out at your local library. For more cuddling kids, please subscribe.